Shalom, Mishmaka. Shalom, this is Brother Moshe Ben Yahuda Yisrael. Got another uh, walk and talk for y'all. It's a beautiful day out here in Louisiana. Check out the sky. Let go of the sun. Beautiful day. Oh, I think I'm a title this one. Tribute to the fathers. Salute to all the Israelite fathers that's out there. So called black men, whether you're in the truth or not. Salute to all the black fathers out there, all Israelite fathers. You know, I don't do the holidays, I don't celebrate holidays, but I'ma still salute my ox and faith that are fathers. So salute to my brothers that's our fathers. You know, salute to um K Judah, Master Moshe, Brother Mickey Yale, yeah, man, keep doing your thing, man. Strive the best of your ability, you know, to teach y'all short leggers the law, statute, commandments, and y'all doing a good job. No matter how society they label y'all, man, damn what the media says. Y'all doing the best y'all can. Don't let nobody tell y'all otherwise. This is coming from your brother. You know, it's coming from your brother, Moshe Ben Yahuda, Yisrael. But yeah, man, salute to all the fathers out there, Israelite fathers, you know, that's doing the right thing. Whether you're in the truth or not, because they like to take this day and make mockery of black fathers, man. You know, straight up. Yeah. But um, man, yeah, like I was saying, man, you know, salute, salute to all my brethren, you know, as fathers in the faith. You know, and most importantly, we gonna give salute and honor to the true heavenly Father, Yahuwah, who the world calls God Almighty. Whether you say Yahuwah, Yahweh, or you just say God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the living Elohim, whose begotten son came down and shed his blood for the sins of Israel. And those that believe, you know, because we got to give reverence to the king, Yahushua HaMashiach, just like we give reverence to the Father, the Almighty, you know, Yahuwah El Shaddai. But yeah, man, salute to all the fathers out there. You know, especially the Israelite fathers, so-called black fathers, because they want to pit it like that a lot of um, brothers don't want to be in their children's life. That is not true, because the majority of Israelite men want to be in their children's lives. That's a damn lie from the enemy. You know, this system is against the family structure. They're the ones who want to remove the fathers out of the household, you know, so they are. Hasha time or whisper in the system ears or whisper in the woman's ears, you know. And sometimes you got some brothers dealing with a wicked woman. And these wicked women are used they churn as pawns, which is a messed up. Not supposed to do that, but hey. Y'all doing y'all best, man. Y'all doing y'all best. Damn what others think. Damn what others say. Y'all keep striving to raise y'all short leggers up in the righteous man in this wicked dying cold world straight up man so salute to all the israelite fathers out there you know so-called black men you know oh but it's kind of hot out here today though brothers that sun beaming i don't got no hat on my head that sun beaming today Woo. <laughs> but it's all good though i'm getting my natural vitamin d getting that sunlight you know getting that good old sunlight that vitamin d now i'm in the shade right here by the library it's feel good in the shade. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, this is the area when I was filming at night when I say darkness. <laughs> yeah, it was pitch black back here, too. All them trees cast a shadow. <laughs> but, yeah, man, salute to all of y'all. Y'all keep striving. You know, y'all keep striving, man. Y'all doing your best. By the grace of y'all. Hallelujah. You know. You know, I hate how they want to see that brothers are deadbeat daddies. You got a lot of deadbeat fathers out there, but not all our brothers deadbeat. And what pisses me off about it, they want to pit the black man as the face of deadbeat fathers, which is a damn lie. Which is a damn lie. Because nine times out of ten, these brothers want to be in their children's lives. You know, but the media says otherwise. And society says otherwise, but yeah, y'all hear that train blowing? 
But yeah, man, I pray that y'all enjoying y'all day, man, with y'all family, with y'all short leggers. You know, y'all just keep y'all heads up, brothers. Keep y'all heads up. You know, so salute to all the Israelite fathers scattered worldwide, whether they in the truth or not. You know, salute to all the black fathers, man. We make good fathers. You know, I was blessed to have a father in my life. And I'm, and I'm grateful to have a good father, you know. We bump heads time after time, but you can expect that with a father and son. You know, you're going to bump heads with your uh, pops. But you still got to love them and keep that fear commandment. Honor thy father and thy mother, you know. You still got to honor that fear commandment. But know this, we honor that fear commandment, but most importantly, we still got to reverence the most high, you know. You know, now if you know your father, your earthly father doing something that's contrary to the laws of Yah, you can't honor it. You got to respect Yah's laws, you know, but you still honor that fifth commandment. But, you know, Yah come first. Always. Always. You know, but yeah. You watch my surroundings there. Take my little walk there. People probably looking at me wondering what I'm doing, but I don't care, man. I'm just walking, minding my business. Mm hmm Man, it's feel good by these trees, though. It's kind of feel good under the shade. But it's hot today, though, fam. It's hot today. Damn, look at the sewage drain. Somebody must have done that. Somebody must have did that. Man, messed that whole sewage drain up. I'm just filming. Man, you see something different every day. Like I was saying, man, you know, salute to all the fathers out there, you know, especially Israelite fathers, you know, and those who are lost. You know, we're doing our best, you know. Like I say, I ain't a father, but if it's the will of the Most High, you know, He blessed me with a um, real, which I've been praying for. You know, I like to raise up a short leg or two, you know, if it's the will of the Father. Because people tell that to me all the time, they say, Moshe, you'll be a good father, you know. You know, because I am good with children, you know. Just like all my um, cousins, my younger cousins, I held them when they was infants, you know. And they all, they was all spalled behind me. <laughs> Straight up. You know, just like my little niece, you know. Now I got her spalled, my little niece, you know. <laughs> but yeah. It comes, you know, it just, it just shows that naturally we, um, built for this you know but yeah now i'm about to go take it to the patio what i'm there five minutes just five minutes already now i find it funny at night time the videos go by faster but at daytime go by slow i'm just at five minutes that's okay it's all good take it to the patio but yeah Take it to the patio. Y'all know people looking at me like, what that bro doing, man? What he doing? You know, I'm just minding my business, doing a little vlog there. But yeah. Man, y'all keep doing y'all thing. Y'all keep shining, Israel. Y'all keep shining. No matter how much they beat y'all down, slander y'all. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, especially if you're fathers. Especially if you got children, you know. You're an Israelite man and you got children. You know, don't let society beat you down. You know you're doing your best. The most high knows you're doing your best. You know. And we make mistake after mistake because we're human. You know, we're gonna make mistake time after time, you know. And some people don't see it that way. They expect you to be perfect and be some kind of person without flaws. And that's false. We all got flaws, man. We ain't flawless. 
That's why I can't stand when people wear shirts say they flawless or say they flawless. I know I'm not flawless. I got flaws. We all got flaws. Just like I got flaws just like the next brother, you know, in this walk. You know, straight up. But yeah. Like I say, man, y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Straight up. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, brother. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. You know. You know, because children are all blessing from the most high. You know, it's a blessing from the most high. Straight up. And, you know, and it's a blessing to see children born in this knowledge, knowing that they're Israelites. It's a huge blessing. All praises. So all praises, you know, to the Most High for allowing a certain amount of children to be born in this walk. And I just pray that they hold on to the knowledge, you know. Like it says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 6, train up a child. You know, train up a child so he may not depart from you. You know where I'm going, you know. And y'all could correct me if I'm wrong, if I misquote it. Y'all could correct me because I ain't above correction. I ain't above the nation, you know. But yeah, that was, uh, you know, in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, when they say train up a child that he may not depart from the way. And that is true. And that's what America don't want, especially in our community. America don't want us to teach our children the ways of the Most High in Christ. They want us to teach our children the ways of Babylon. And sadly, the parents don't have to do nothing because the television is raising the children of the ways of Babylon, which is a worldwide system. You know?